John, isn't that our mother? A mother? A mother? Oh, oh, yes, the one who couldn't even be bothered being here to mm. welcome us home. Yeah, that's the one. I wasn't expecting you this early. Yeah, well, we rushed home because we knew you'd be worried once you heard it on the news. Mm. Heard what? Mm. She doesn't know about the bushfires. Then she wouldn't know about the avalanche. Yeah, or the flood. Mm. The avalanche at the beach, huh? Oh, did I say avalanche? I, um... I'm, I'm in earthquake. <laughs> well, I'm really glad you're both back safely. However, I'm not sure that I'm up to coping with your sense of humour this early in the day, though. Well, actually, there was a flood, but I'll tell you about that when you're in a better mood. Hey, um, how come you've got overnight bags? Where have you been? Oh, we'll talk about that when I'm in a better mood, too. Oh, you're back. I was just about to call you. Hello, Lolly. Jim's your daddy. Why are you still here? Because I have no reason to be anywhere else. And if we want to make the wedding, we better get a move on. That's not high on my list of priorities at the moment. You're not suggesting that we leave Mark and Annalise in the lurch, are you? Oh, no, I'll be putting in an appearance, and what you do is up to you. As long as no one makes the mistake of thinking that you and I are there together. 